back to the cock dice for yet another painting update from Ian here. This week's been a pretty busy week and I'm pretty just with what I've managed to get said so far. This is eight models in seven days. You may notice a theme this week. Everything this week is for Batman. Uh, this is a bunch of older models I've got and I've had to kick around for a while. Uh, Batman 3rd edition has out, been out fairly recently and I'm keen, really keen to try it. So I thought I'd get some of my old models uh, painted up ahead of time and uh, just before I start painting all the new stuff from the new box set. So I'm going to break these out into a little, couple, couple of little groups uh, and show you some close-ups and just talk about what I've done. So of course I really have to start with uh, Batman. This is the small starter box from 2nd edition. I uh, really love these the minute they're released. They are great models. Um, most of them are basically one piece. Uh, I think this guy, the right gun here, was the only two piece model in the set. So as a as a starter box, I thought it was a cracking one. And I picked it up in Night Models sale last year um, for not a lot of money. So I, I like Batman. It was a good excuse to buy him. Right, I'll start off with Bats first of all. Zoomed in. So I've gone with a bit of a brighter colour scheme than he's supposed to come back, come with. Um, much more uh, much more blue on the cloak. Uh, also decided on a yellow bat symbol on his chest rather than the black he's supposed to come with. But yeah, he's come out pretty well. Um, normal painting techniques with this, just layers using GW paints and then a couple of washes just to soften them a little bit. But I think he's a pretty damned awesome model. Um, the only difference is he comes on a 30mm base. I've mounted him on a 40mm base because it does appear in the new edition uh, of Night Models Batman game that all your leaders are going to come on at least 40mm, if not 60mm bases. So I just wanted to base him up ahead of time, make him look a bit cooler like that. So we'll pop him to one side, talk about the rest of the gang. So this is, oh, there we go, zoom in a bit. Arkham Guard 1. Uh, armed with an extendable baton, bad attitude, and looking pretty cool. Uh, I think again the only change I've really done from the official colour scheme is I've done these little symbols on his shoulder, which aren't zooming in now. It's turning this way. These symbols here, I've done them in red rather than white, just to brighten them up a little bit and give them a bit of flash of colour. I also decided to be proper lazy and not paint his eyes because, to be fair, from across the table looking at them down like that, you're not really going to notice. Uh, next up we've got Arkham Guard 2. These are really well named. Uh, this guy armed with an assault rifle, so he's quite expensive, his funding's quite big um, for him, but again he looks proper mean. Really cool looking model. And last of all, again, fairly mean looking fellow, this guy is Arkham Guard 3 armed with a riot gun. So exactly the same colour scheme. I went with pretty much out of the box. Uh, I really like this kind of blue uniform and it matches uh, Batman's cloak really, really nicely. Next up, I've got three of GCPD's finest. Uh, these are three Gotham policemen. They are pretty old models these days. I've had them for absolutely ages. I just I like the models, so I bought them. Um, first of all, we have... Oh, on, there we go, zoom. Uh, Gotham policeman one. This is uh, last with an automatic pistol and... Police baton and a random bit of hair attached to her. Hang on. There we go. Uh, from the official paint scheme, I've gone a slightly different route. I've decided to do these uh, with black uniforms rather than the blues they've got. This is really just to break them apart from the Arkham uh, guards. Gives them a bit of a different look. And the only blue I've really done on them is the kind of cornflower blue shirts. Um, so that's Arkham Guard, uh, that's uh, Police Officer 1, this is Police Officer 2. Uh, I've attempted to do, you can yeah, just about see it on his chest there, a kind of Gotham Police emblem, um, which is some very tall buildings with tiny, tiny text. Tried to squeeze that on the badge. It's really, that badge is about three millimetres across, so it's fairly difficult to get that on. And then last of all, uh, I think my favourite model of the bunch yeah, is Police Officer 3, just with a bat on, just kind of stalking forward, looking pretty mean. So that's those guys. Uh, some nice, cheap, additional uh, bodies for my Batman crew. And finally this week, it's Batgirl. Uh, this one is a rebirth version. 
comes in the rather lovely purple outfit. Um, purple and yellow, I suppose, about to go with. Uh, I've got to say, I have absolutely despised painting the uh, yellow on this. Really struggled to get a kind of bright-ish yellow that didn't uh, detract from it. And purple is not my favourite colour to paint either. Um, I think I've overwashed it a bit and, and washed out some of the shading. But on a table, she's going to look just fine. Um, I'm somewhat worried about this uh, wobbliness of her and, and that, that single ankle hitting the ground. But she's going to be pretty awesome on the tabletop uh, as a handy sidekick. I think she's a sidekick for the rest of the gang. So not only have I been painting a lot of stuff this week, I've also done quite a bit of construction work. Uh, this is what I've managed to get done so far of the new Back to Gotham core box from, from Night Models. Uh, everything here is ready. I've not built Batman yet or Harley Quinn. Uh, I've already got a Batman, obviously, and I'm, to be honest, I'm not massively keen on the Harley Quinn that came in the box. Uh, I might uh, grab one of the older models uh, for her. These are all new sculpts from uh, Night Models. They're really, really nice uh, sculpt-wise. Um, one of the things I'll just pick this guy because he's the most easiest one to do it on. One of the great new things about these new guys is the resin, and ooh, it's a wobbly resin. Um, which Modern Night Models uh, biggest problems has always been breakages. There, a lot of their old stuff's done in a very, very, very hard but fragile resin, which snaps quite easily. Um, and there's been a lot of complaints about that, and a lot of models I suspect having to be replaced. This is a much more flexible resin. But it does mean that cleanup's a little bit of a pain um, because it's, uh, it's got, got some sort of high PVC count or something like that. I have no idea on the actual uh, chemistry of it, but it's um, it's a bit of a pain to clean up. These have all been built and based as the other guys, so I'm putting all my leaders on 40 mils. I, I've decided against the 60 mil bases. Um, I think they're a bit too big for gaming purposes, and, and 40 mils should do, and, and to be fair, they all fit on. I've also removed, especially on uh, Deadshot here, and I'm not sure I've built one of the, oh, uh, yeah, Deadshot is probably the main one. Um, I've not added all the extra guff onto his base. Um, I think it just detracts from the model quite a lot, so I kind of trim the bases down to be minimum possible. I'll add some more street detritus around these. You may notice from my other Batman models, I don't base all of them on uh, the kind of flagstone bases that Knight produce, um, these ones here. Um, I kind of do a blend. Um, some of these I will sculpt in. We've got one I've done. Yeah, this guy here, you can just about see I've kind of sculpted in some flags, so we'll have a full flag base. Other ones, them like this guy, um, the, and some of these other ones, I'm just uh, he's, he's also got a kind of sculpted in base and some extra bits in it there. I think they're just some uh, bullet casings. The others I'll do with a mix of gravel and sand and, and general street detritus. Um, ju I just like to mix up the bases a little bit. Um, my map for Batman is uh, essentially a very, very dark, gloomy map anyway, so it doesn't really want much detail on it, and I find it makes the model stand out really nicely. Um, and of course, with the new set, so things like Gordon, Joker, Batman, Harley have all got these huge dynamic bases. Gordon was supposed to be mounted on the... Um, on the bat signal here on a on a big 60 mil base i decided against him i quite like this leaning against the wall lighting his fag um look so i decided just to build the uh, the bat signal anyway because it's cool and i'll stick up the building as a bit of terrain so these are gonna get, go out and get sprayed later on uh, and i'll be starting these hopefully this week so you'll see them possibly next week possibly the week after uh, it's probably probably two weeks with the painting there i reckon um and I've got to decide what to do about Harley Quinn yet. So that's it for this week. Thank you very much for joining us once again, and I will see you again with an update in a week's time.